this is spectatorship and scenography in the archives uh, uh, an exhibition put together by the alkazi theater archives and the alkazi collection of photography both a part of the alkazi foundation so in this exhibition what we try to do is bring forth the politics of the human figure um, in juxtaposition with the landscape and how from the colonial to the post colonial timeline till the present day for like till the until the digital so how this concept of the human figure has evolved so as you can see in colonial practices and much of it has been imported later on even post independence the politics of the image is where quote unquote the colonized other uh, has been portrayed in a certain through a certain oriental gaze or where a particular uh, uh, site say for example the taj mahal as we can see in john murray's work so john murray was a 19th century photographer so he was actually part of the east india company as a surgeon he that was his uh, occupation professional occupation but he took up photography where as you can see uh, here is an image of a native person who is seated right here so he hasn't portrayed the taj mahal as we see even today in popular images like the front it's actually included a lot of um uh, residents around that area the settlers around that area who are not tourists but who are actually part of this landscape but in popular narratives the people the settlers are mostly omission so another part is also one can understand the scale of the architecture if you are placing a human figure who is this small you can also understand the scale of the architecture so this is basically another staging that our curator zulekha choudhury has done this so what this is a hand painted image of the same photograph by murray and this has been made by artist uh, satinder so this as you can see there is a turban here right here there is a turban it becomes symbolic of the absented body of the lady who is present in this image so in itself it's like a double folded reimagining this image so this is john murray's work and this section is on agra so if we move a bit forward here we see habib tanvi's agra stills from habib tanvi's agra bazaar a 1954 play which had been produced in new parable time till the 1990s and this particular play is about the people who had settled by the banks of the yamuna river so again he is breaking down that touristic gaze or the touristic imagination or the colonial imagination rather talking about the, the lives of these people who were sellers vendors merchants like com basically the common people so these are habib tanvi's uh, stills from habib tanvi's production over the years So that was 19th century. This is just post independence, 1954 onwards. Here I think we have another imagination of the Yamuna River through our Kedar Photography grantee this year, Pushpa Prejas. His work, Yamuna Local Stories. So where he surveys the Yamuna River, and as you can see, the surveyor is also surveyed, and the photographer also becomes the one who is being photographed. So. This is Bush himself, who is the photographer. He is also present in the photograph. So he is playing a double-folded politics, where he is not only bringing up a different narrative of the Yamuna River, but I think he is differently uh, posing what the concept of a photographer might happen. What is the politics of being looked at, and the politics of looking at? So I think this is what his work here continues. So. It's a, it's still a work in progress, but we have had the opportunity to take a few photographs and narrate it, interweave it in our narration for the Agra section. Uh, before that, uh, I think the we can just have a look at that side, perhaps. Uh, so these are images by uh, by King Shin Chan Hemlani. Again. These are passport photographs of workers, common people, hippies. Uh, during the 1960s, he had photographed them with, with a matchbox camera, which 
stop people stop using it once the digital technology came in so as you can see in state archive you won't really find the histories of common people that we rather one the question is always um which people are being taken into account and basically we wanted to bring forth the marginalized history and thus people basically it's anonymous an anonymous crowd but bringing up subjectivity bringing up narrative through this anonymity not making it anonymous anymore uh i'll just run across this uh, <laughs> the next uh, section you might find it very interesting again uh, this one was very the shifting visual territory here in this side we have images from delhi darbar 1911 basically this was also the coronation of king george the 5 these images are of the coronation of the delhi darbar 1911 by amateur uh, parsi photographer named mohi wala but what he did he as you can see all these images you can not really see the spectacle it's not about the coronation but it is about the people who were present there people who were working there like the people of the imperial troops or the laborers who made the event possible so again as you can see he's very much deconstructing the colonial days of what a spectacle can be so and here i have one of the last section is very interesting which is on jananatyam manch um, so this uh, all these images are over 33 years of jananatyam manch performing in chandapur the site where their former convener and activist sardar hashmi was murderously and brutally attacked and later he died in a delhi uh, hospital so after that every year for 33 years janam has been um, organizing the sardar hashmi sahadat divas at chandapur but here as you can again see it's not about the production it's not about the people who are performing of course it's through their performance we are tracking this history but what we can see are the spectators photographs of the spectators and these spectators were also dwellers of chandapur who have migrated away once industrial once privatization struck because this is an industrial area so the mills and all these industries started shutting down around the 90s so we try to capture the shifting spectatorship vis-a-vis the shifting population of that space So this is how we try to capture the history of Jhandapur, which otherwise in popular imagery would be just an industrial period. But somewhere is more than that. It is about people's history.